What's going on, y'all? So welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Demetrius. I'm an interior designer, and I'm also a content creator. And At Home with Savvy is an online platform that's dedicated to inspiring you to live a more elevated home lifestyle in all aspects. But in today's video, we are going to be diving into a few of my favorite low-maintenance, easy-to-care-for houseplants that any of you can keep alive. So without further ado, let's just dive right into it. All right, y'all, so first up, we have the snake plant, and this is the plant that started my plant parent journey about seven years ago, and it's also the first plant that I've ever killed, so don't be like me. Please don't, because all you need to do for this plant to keep it alive is provide a little bit of sunlight because it practically holds up in any light environment. I mean, bright light, bright and direct light, little light, little to no light. I mean, it could even hold up in a bathroom that gets no natural light, but gets overhead light and additional lighting in there. But I won't recommend that you put it in the bathroom. That's just me. I've seen a great, uh, great deal of people actually put them in their bathrooms and they actually live, but I've never seen any actually like thrive in a bathroom. So that's just why I don't recommend it. And in regard to water in this plant, you just need to water it every two to four weeks in the summer months, and then about every one to two months in the cooler months. But it totally depends on your climate, so keep that in mind. Don't just, you know, go dumping water in your plant just because I said every two weeks to a month or every, you know, one to two months. You want to actually stick your finger halfway into the soil and make sure that it's completely dry before you go dumping water in it. So that's how you, you know, be able to check. That's how you'll be able to keep yourself from overwatering that plant. And it's one of those plants that you basically don't have to do anything to. But what I like to do is actually when it gets a bit dusty, I would take kind of like a wet rag or microfiber cloth or whatever the case, whatever you want to use and just rub it against the uh rub it against the leaves and actually just get the dust off of it but other than that you really rarely have to do anything for this plant it's basically the first plant you should buy if you ask me but they come in all sizes shapes and all that good stuff different colors as well so you can get one this tall you can get some that are you know much much taller and a much bigger pot that you know could actually be about six feet tall you can get some that are you know really small and actually this snake plant comes in over a hundred different varieties so you never know what you may find i actually have i think about three varieties but i'm not an expert in regard to all the names and all that so we ain't going there we just know we're just gonna call this a snake plant and we're gonna keep it moving to the next one all right so next we have the pothos and actually this is a plant that i've i wouldn't say hate but i've disliked this plant for a very long time actually since i was a kid i just never vibe with this plant because it just gives me old folks vibes and it also gives me that really bohemian vibe maybe i am scorned from seeing them in those macrame plant hangings from you know hanging from the ceiling in restaurants or just in that old environment this just gives me old folks but i don't think that way no more because i actually got a ton of these around the house but they're easy to care for low maintenance you know another plant that just do its own thing don't need much assistance it just need a good watering once a week and again check your soil before you go dumping water in it every time and also in regard to the lighting requirements this plant i've seen it do the best and grow the most in that bright and direct light i've put them in bright light on the window seal they've done really great there and i've also put them in some kind of low-key spots around the house that don't get as much sunlight and i haven't seen much growth with those so i would definitely if um, I would definitely say if you want to see that, you know, continuous new growth, you want to stick this plant in bright and direct light. And also, this is a plant that's great for, you know, actually cutting these and turning them into an additional plant. And actually, I did that with this one. I would say about three months ago, I've had those cuttings actually sitting in water, getting their roots, well, growing their roots. And actually, it's about time for me to pot these. So 
I'll do that today as well. But if you want to get started, this is definitely a way to go. All right, so here we have the Monstera, and actually this is the thirstiest plant in this house. It's a tropical plant and it loves that high humidity. So what you would wanna do is miss this plant once a week, water it about every seven days or so, but of course, make sure you check the soil before you just go dumping water in it. That's how you end up with plants that are overwatered. And you also want to get this plant bright and indirect sunlight throughout the day. I've seen the most new growth in this plant when it was in that um, bright and indirect sun. And it was getting that, you know, routine watering. So make sure you water in your plants, y'all. That's the moral of the story today. Water them, but not too much. And so here's another one of my favorite plants, which is the rubber tree plant. And actually I love it because of its very vibrant and moody leaves. And actually it's a tropical plant. Again, I love to uh, miss this plant once a week and it loves that bright and indirect sunlight that all tropical plants, well, most tropical plants love. And also it loves to have their leaves white every now and then and so honestly she's looking a little dusty so i'm gonna take care of her while we're here and so honestly i just probably wet a rag or in this instance paper towels and just simply wipe the leaves off actually not just a paper towel but a wet paper towel a moist paper towel you need it to actually wipe away that dust. And what I like to do is use my hand at the bottom for support. Because the worst thing you need to, uh, the last thing you need to be doing is tugging on the leaves and, you know, letting them just rip off or fall off. So that's what that extra support is for. So we're gonna get this one all nice and clean. And actually, funny enough, y'all, this plant I found at Home Depot recently. I would say about the, about a month ago, and it was sitting in a. It was actually sitting on one of their trays, and it was full of water sitting in that tray. I think it was probably like two inches of water. And honestly, my first thought was, all of these plants are severely overwatered. And I say that because it was just standing in that water, so I could only imagine how long it was there before I even peeped it. So long story short, I took the plant home because I'm like, let me save this plant from these uh, plant killers here at Home Depot. And so far she has uh, bounced back a lot, but she has lost quite a bit of these uh, bottom leaves here, but I ain't tripping, but it's a really nice plant. And you know, I just look forward to actually you know growing this thing even more and hopefully we can you know encourage some new growth at the bottom of these leaves by notching it but i'll have to look into that because i'm not a pro when it comes to notching your plants to encourage that growth so actually whenever i do that i'll share it with y'all all right y'all so that wraps up today's video and i hope you've enjoyed it if you did make sure you give this video a like and let me know in the comment section what your first house plant was and if you haven't gotten any house plants yet let me know what your first house plant is gonna be and if you want to stay connected with me on a daily basis make sure that you follow me over on instagram i'll leave that info in the description box below but until next time i will see y'all in the next video